What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, sorry for any background noise, that's my parents' show. Uh, this morning I woke up at 6, um, I exercised. Um, I was planning on not exercising, but uh, that's just where the wind blew me, I suppose. Um, I walked for 5 miles, I burned 1,033 calories, and my average heart rate was 141. Um, it's my first time exercising since I got COVID, um, and yeah. Um, you may notice that I'm, well, I notice that I'm recording this video at four and I should be on my way to school, uh, because I have class from six to nine, um, every Wednesday. Um, but, uh, attendance is optional today, um, so I don't need to show up. The reason why is because the professor was sick with some sort of flu. <laughs> I put, um, I put up quotes because he described it a certain way, but I actually forgot how he described it. It was like a something flu, uh, but he has some sort of flu. So um, it's just gonna be the assistant teacher here today. And you know, um, the plan was to take the midterm, but he made it so then everybody can take the midterm at home. Um, it's just available all day. I got 87% on the midterm, so that's pretty good. Uh, you pass if you get above 70%, so that's good. Um, it was open note, so it's kind of cheating. Uh, well, it's not cheating, but um, you know, 87% doesn't necessarily reflect my knowledge. Um, I do think that without open note, the amount of times I had to check my notes was over, was under 30% of the time. So I think I would have gotten a set over 70% if I hadn't checked my notes, uh, which would be the case in the CompTIA A plus exam. But, um, you know, it's still important to qualify that, I suppose. Um, now, here's some interesting news. Uh, my video on Arch Linux customization is now my most popular video on my YouTube channel at 1.1 thousand views. Um, it's surpassing Ono oh Second, um, which, let me turn off desktop audio. It's surpassing Ono oh Second, which the reason why this video became popular, well, look how different I look. Um, the reason why this video became popular was because, um, uh, Tom Scott, uh, not, not, uh, Tom Scott, who's retired now, but at the time Tom Scott released a computer science video, um, where at the very beginning, I think maybe in the thumbnail, he had the word Ono Second, um, and I was watching that video at the time, and as you may know, whenever I'm watching a video, or listening to a video as I upload a video, I make the title of the video, uh, something, like, usually, I just title the video whatever, and it's usually like something I just heard in the video, and so something I just heard was Ono oh Second, um, so I made that the title of my video. Um, it got 981 views, uh, because I think it was in the thumbnail and everybody looked it up, and when you looked up Ono oh Second on Google, uh, this was one of the first results, so. Um, yeah, I got 28 dislikes because I'm sort of clickbaiting people, I'm not really describing what Ono oh Second is, and there is some people uh, mentioning Tom Scott in the description here, but, um, you know, uh, my Arch Linux video is a little different. It's got 30 likes and zero dislikes. Um, maybe if you're watching this, you could be the first person to dislike, but you know, um, and some very nice people commented. Uh, shout out Vosh Kronos. Um, he commented some stuff about duads and pseudo and we had a little conversation. Um, he seems like a really nice guy. Uh, he's really cool. Um, yeah, shout out, shout out Vosh Kronos. Um, for being one of the people who contributed to my 1100 views. Um, yeah, so most new most popular video after three years, which is kind of crazy. And after that, after six years, which is extra crazy. Um, yeah, so new most popular video. It probably won't be my most popular video ever. I think that is yet to happen. Uh, you know, actually on my second channel, uh, which is a channel called Thou Chives, I have um, some backups of, um, so Wilbur Soot's old YouTube channel used to be called Minecraft of Donuts and I watched it back in the day. Uh, luckily I downloaded his channel before a lot of the videos went unlisted. Um, so I uploaded a lot of, um, uh, a lot of the unlisted videos on there and one of them was I'm Back Plus an Apology by Minecraft of Donuts and that's young Wilbur Sutt right there, uh, that has 9.1 thousand views. So, um, you know, uh, 
maybe that's going to be my most popular video ever, which honestly wouldn't be too surprising. Uh, 5.1 thousand views is quite a lot of views. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully, with the amount of content I'm putting out on Leo the PO, uh, you know, maybe I'm yet to make my most popular video of all time, which mm, sounds re relatively like you, likely. Um, you know, I'm not doing Leo the PO for the views, but, um, you know, it, it is always fun whenever a video gets views because it's just, um, it's cool. It's a cool, it, like, it's cool, you know? Um, I, you know, I don't have much to say uh, other than that. Um, yeah, so today I had four slices of pizza. Um, I woke up this morning, I had some coffee. Yeah, after my exercise, I took a shower and stuff. Um, I had some coffee, I had four slices of pizza because um, there's some pizza left over uh, from the pizza we got yesterday, and that was pretty tasty. Um, and yeah, nothing else is really going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, What? What? Um, I don't know. Oh, Two Mad died. That's crazy. Uh, that's something I forgot to mention. Um, yeah. Uh, now, not to say I'm holding, uh, now, now before I say this thing, I'm, ac I'm actually not sure what happened with Two Mad, um, and I don't want this video to age poorly, so, um, Two Mad is the, the zeitgeist right now on the internet, is that Two Mad was a bad guy. Uh, I don't know how true that is because I genuinely haven't done that much research into it at all. Um, but, uh, so that's my disclaimer for what I'm about to say right now. I, I, I don't really know anything about Doomhack. Uh, but it's always really crazy when a YouTuber dies. Um, you know, I watched Etika before he died. Um, and I watched, uh, a little bit of Technoblade before he died. Um, you know, and it's just, it's, it's weird. Um, I also watched of course, too mad before he died because um, I watch his videos were popular. You know, I, I, I watched his videos sometimes, um, and it was just so. It's just so weird. Um, I don't know. YouTube is a is a medium is a format is like a very 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 new medium, and uh, we're still in the sort of. We're still in a place where a majority of YouTube accounts are, were made by people who were alive, right? Um, but for what I assume will be a majority of YouTube's existence, uh, that won't be the case, right? Um, eventually, a majority of people who have made a YouTube account have uh, died, right? Um, but it's just particularly weird when those accounts of people who have died um, are very famous um, and you know, are typically such a large mass on English-speaking YouTube uh, to where it's inevitable that you would at least hear about them. Um, you know, more than that, watch a video from them or watch a few, you know. Uh, so it's always strange. Um, I'm quite a bit younger than a lot of YouTubers, so a lot of them are going to die in my lifetime, uh, which is weird. Um, I think it's fair to say even a majority of YouTubers that I watch are going to die in my lifetime, which is particularly strange. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's really weird to have, um, you know, people like people who you've watched when you were younger die. It's just, it's just strange. Um, and I'm not really, you know, I didn't know too mad, so I'm not super, uh, grieving or anything. I didn't really watch this stuff too much. But it's just weird. Um, same with techno, same with uh, techno blade, Tech, techno blade, right? Uh, stuff like that is just crazy. Uh, you know, I don't. It's it's just so. I'm just repeating myself, but it's a very weird thing to experience, and I'm sure you know a lot of you can attest to that as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope everybody has a good day and. Yeah, see you, dude. Also, I'm pretty much healed from COVID. Uh, this is the last thing. Um, I, I wanted to mention this earlier, but I forgot. Oh, I, I actually have two more things to mention. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm actually quite happy that class was canceled today because tomorrow I have only Zoom classes. Um, and then on Friday, I have therapy, which is in person. But um, I'm happy I'm not going to class today because I think I still have like a little bit of COVID. Um, I'm functionally not sick. Um, you can see me on camera. I don't look like a sick person. I'm not sick. Um, but the CDC 
does recommend that you uh, wear a mask 10 days after testing positive and I'm on day five, right? No. Yeah, I'm on day five. Nah, I think I'm on day six, uh, but still, um, it's, and I don't think I'm contagious because I'm not like coughing or sneezing or anything, but um, you know, I was a little worried about going to school today because I was worried I'd give people COVID. So I think it's sort of a, you know, um, I'm not religious, but if I was, I would think it's some sort of divine intervention uh, on how uh, I didn't have to go to school today. Um, so uh, that's cool, I suppose. What else? I keep itching my face. Um, oh yeah, so last thing. Um, so right now, <laughs> I'm just doing this because uh, I think... Oh, I, uh, one more thing to talk about after this. Uh, I changed the blur factor on my uh, compositor. I'm not going to change it because I think it might mess up something with OBS if I do something with my compositor. Don't quote me on that, but um, it's a little blurrier now. Um, it's a little harder to see the background and I kind of like that. Um, and also you may notice I'm having some weird... How can I do this? There we go. Uh, look at my cursor. Look when it goes... Look, it changes when I go onto the bar. And the reason why is because... Um, how am I gonna do this? Let me... There we go. Um, the reason why is because I ran, uh, I ran XDG Ninja um, on my computer, and for those of you who don't know, XDG Ninja is sort of a thing that scans your home directory and it tells you um, what can, what is uh, applicable, like what XDG base directories are applicable uh, toward the stuff that's automatically placed in your home directory. So, um, like for example, like dot steam isn't supposed to be there it's supposed to be in um dot config slash steam right and uh you know dot zoom isn't supposed to be there it's supposed to be in uh dot config slash zoom right which i don't know why that underlined because that directory doesn't exist but um did it underline for steam i don't know never mind uh so yeah, that's XGG base directory and XDG Ninja is a thing that tells you what can be moved, right? And to what and what to put in your um, uh, ZSH environment, which is sort of the, uh... I'm actually not entirely sure what your ZSH environment is. I just know it's where you put your like, where your downloads folder is and like where your, um, where your XDG stuff goes. Uh, so you would say, hey, instead of putting .zshrc in my home directory, put it in, you know, uh, dot config slash dsh or instead of putting dot cargo in my home directory put it in dot config slash cargo um, and that's applicable for some things and again that's what xcg ninja does um, however um, I tried moving for some reason xdg ninja if I can scroll up it says that I can move zsh env to dot config zsh zsh env uh, which is just not true I tried moving it it totally broke zsh uh, so maybe I should put in a, a GitHub issue on that or something. Um, and another thing is X Authority. It says LightDM doesn't allow you to do this or other display managers, but I don't have display manager. I don't have a display manager. I just run uh, XORG through Stardex. Um, and if I move X Authority to uh, XGG runtime dir uh, slash X Authority, it has the same like X stops working. You know so. Um, I don't know why XTG Ninja tells you to do this, and I don't know why XTG Ninja tells you to do um, this with ZSH ENB, um, but it's just really strange. Um, so maybe I should put in a report on that. Um, oh, and <laughs> the reason why um, I mentioned how my cursor changes between Firefox and my bar is because um, is because. I set in my ZSH environment. Oh, um, is because I set in my ZSH environment where my icons folder is. That's what XGG Ninja said to do for my cursor. 
um, and it totally didn't set. So that's another thing. So that's three things from XCG Ninja that didn't work. Um, and I totally just said exactly what it said to do. And if I go to um, XGG Data Home, you know, I go to Icons, um, you know, it shows like it, the theme, you know, it tells it tells it to use the white breeze cursor, um, but it doesn't, and it's just, just really odd. Um, one last thing, I've been trying to figure this out. Um, I had a lead, but it was someone using a custom user Chrome, and I'm not using a custom user Chrome on Firefox, but look, there's this stupid border around my menus here. Do you see that? Like a blurry border. I've always had it on Firefox and it's always bothered me. Does anybody know why that happens? Okay. And this is my last thing I want to talk about. Um, the reason why um, this video has such high views is because it has showing off my Irish Linux configuration in the title. Uh, the thing that had happened was I had uploaded the video and I named it free, right? And then I was like, hmm, this is a 13 minute video. I put some effort into it. I'm gonna give a contextual title, right? So I edited it and I changed it to free showing off my Arch Linux configuration, right? Um, and you know, the reason why I did that is because when I have a contextual title, which this makes sense, uh, when, I, when I have a contextual title, it gives me a lot of views, like showing off my LibreOff config and talking about my new ThinkPad and Minecraft server woes and my uh, ChatGPT video. If I bet if I used the words ChatGPT in this title, that would be my most popular video, but you know, I didn't. Um, and, you know, uh, so I put a contextual title and that I would bet my life on the fact that my addition of a contextual title resulted in the video being my most popular on my channel. Um, yeah, I would assume. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. 16 minute video, that's crazy. Um, but you know, you gotta talk about what you gotta talk about. Um, yeah, all right, see you, dude.